We use and throw away a lot of stuff, but every object we use in our lives has a special place that it can go. Some places mark the end of our trash, but other places, if we choose right, mean that the things we throw away can go on to keep living long, useful lives. Sarah, and welcome back to Keep Cincinnati Beautiful's virtual classroom presentations. Here at KCV, we care about a lot of things. Nature, art, our neighbors, and sharing with kids like you how we can all work together to make sure our city is a happy, healthy, and beautiful place to live. Today, we are going to talk about one way that you can help with that. Waste is the name of the things we don't have a use for anymore. Typically, when we can't use something anymore, we throw it away in the trash or the garbage can. But have you ever wondered what happens after that? Where does that banana peel, milk carton, old toy, or your little sister's dirty diaper go after you throw it away? It doesn't just go away. At home, your grown-ups put trash bags by the road for the garbage person to pick up in their large garbage truck. At school, those trash cans from your classroom or your cafeteria are emptied into bags that are put into giant dumpsters that are also picked up by a garbage truck. Those garbage trucks then go across town to Coleraine Township to put all of the trash into one place, the Rumpke Sanitary Landfill. Landfills are where most of our waste goes. There, the garbage trucks carefully empty their contents into a large hole in the ground that is filled up daily with more and more trash. However, there is only so much space in our landfill. And once our landfill is full, it will be covered with soil, and then we'll have to find a new space to start a new landfill. Now, landfills are an important part of what makes our world safe and clean. All of our trash has to go somewhere. But landfills, they take up a lot of space. Space that might have been used for houses, stores, or even better, parks or forests. If we can send less stuff to the landfill, it would mean that it wouldn't fill up as fast, meaning we don't have to take space away from the wild. But what can we do to keep the landfill from filling up so fast? Well, we are going to learn how to put our waste to better use, and we have quite a few options. Who has ever seen this symbol on a waste bin? Well, when we see this symbol on a waste bin, it means recycle. Sometimes the waste bin will be a different color from the regular trash. Notice this one's blue, but sometimes they can be green. Recycling is a great way to throw less trash into our landfills. Does anyone know an easy definition of the word recycle? Recycle means to take something old and turn it into something new. Now, repeat that with me one time. It's when we take something old and turn it into something new. Recycling is very easy, as a lot of times it's right next to the trash bin. However, we can only put certain types of trash into our recycling. Here in Cincinnati, we can put five types of materials into our recycling bin. Maybe some of you already know what those recyclable materials are, but let's review all five together. So first on our list of things that we can recycle is paper and cardboard. Now paper and cardboard, they come in lots of different forms. They can be things like pieces of mail, newspapers, paper packaging. Paper that we can also recycle comes in the form of paperboard boxes that maybe hold our granola bars or cereal. It can also be cardboard boxes, like those ones we get in the mail, or pizza boxes, just as long as they're clean and not too greasy. So next on our list of things that we can recycle are cans. There's two types of cans that we can recycle. The first type is the ones that we drink out of. Sometimes they'll have soda, or sometimes they'll have juices or sparkling water. 
As long as they're empty, we can put them right in our recycling bin. Now, the next type of can that we can recycle are food cans. So sometimes they have soup or beans or tomato sauces. Once again, as long as they're empty, we can put them in our recycling. So the next item on our list of things that we can recycle is glass. Now glass comes in lots of shapes, lots of sizes, and lots of colors. As long as it's empty, we can put it in our recycling bin. So one form of glass could be like soda bottles. It can also be glass bottles like adult beverages. It can also be things like glass juice containers or jam jars. But with these, we just want to make sure that we take the metal lids off and put them in separately. So the next item on our list of things that we can recycle here in Cincinnati are cartons. Now cartons come in lots of different forms. They can be things like juice cartons, or they can be cartons that hold maybe soups or broths, or they can be milk cartons. Once again, as long as all these cartons are empty, we can put them in our recycling bin. The next and final item on our list of things that we can recycle is plastic. By far the most confusing one, because it's not just any plastic. And I'm going to share a special code for you to know. It has to be shaped like a bottle or a jug. So things that we can recycle that are shaped like bottle or jugs are soda bottles. It could be milk jugs or old cleaning detergent jugs, or it can be cleaning supplies just as long as we take off the spray tops. Now, let's figure out if a few other plastic items that I have can be recycled. What about this plastic bag? Is this shaped like a bottle or a jug? No! No, it's not. What about this berry clamshell? Is this shaped like a bottle or a jug? No! No, it is not. What about this old butter tub? Is this shaped like a bottle or a jug? And breaking news. Rumpke Recycling is now accepting plastic tubs, yogurt containers, and fruit cups. So that means this and things that are shaped like this, not things that look like this. So remember to recycle in Cincinnati plastic bottles, jugs, and tubs. Back to our programming. All things are made from natural resources which means they are made from ingredients that come from the earth. Many natural resources are limited, and someday we may run out. Think about paper. What natural resource or part of the earth does paper come from? That's right, trees! Trees come from the earth, and we cut them down and mill the trees to turn them into paper and cardboard that we use. Now, when we recycle paper, we don't have to cut down more trees. Instead, we take that old, used paper and we turn it into new, clean paper. Now those forests can be left for the deer and the rabbits that call it home. And the same goes for all things that we can recycle. When we recycle things like empty plastic bottles, they get turned into new plastic bottles that hold the products that we use every day. When we recycle old milk cartons, they find a new life as tissues. By recycling, we aren't digging, mining, excavating the earth for natural resources to make new things. Instead, we're using the old items to make our brand new plastic jugs, soda cans, and pickle jars. If something can't be recycled, we can do other things instead of just throwing it away. We can ask ourselves, is there maybe another use for it? And when we can use things again, we call that reuse. Now, does anyone know an easy definition for the word reuse? To use again. There are lots of things that we use once and then throw away, but we could save them and we could use them again. I bet a lot of you are already reusing things in your homes that you didn't even realize. Plastic bags from the grocery store is one example. 
We use them the first time to bring home our groceries, but we can save these plastic bags and use them again, perhaps as trash bags in the bathroom or to clean up after our family pets. Butter tubs and plastic to-go containers can also be washed and reused. We have them the first time for our food, but if we wash them out, we can use them again for our leftovers. Glass jars, we buy full of food, but we can also reuse them to maybe catch and observe our bug friends. But just be sure to let them go when you're all done observing. There's also another way to reuse things, which is to give them to other people who might want them. You are probably growing out of old clothes and shoes before they're even worn out. Or maybe you have toys and books that you just don't play with anymore. All of these things can be used again by someone else, a friend, a brother, a sister, a cousin, or they can even be taken to a place for someone else to pick them up and buy them. What is the word for giving things away to other people who might want them? Donate. There are probably some things you don't want to donate though. We wouldn't want to donate an old can or a banana peel, right? So what can we give away that someone else might want? Clothes, old toys, books that you're just totally bored of are all great things to donate. Another great place to find things to donate is in your kitchen. Perhaps your family went out and bought a whole new set of dishes because your old dishes are all mismatched. Well, you can take those old mismatched dishes and you can donate them. Another great thing to think about donating are school supplies. Lots of kids don't get new backpacks or school supplies every new school year, but when you donate your old supplies, many kids can be gifted with something that is new to them. Those things include things like old binders, maybe scissors or rulers, colored pencils, or even old backpacks. If you don't have a friend or a family member that you can donate to, or maybe they just don't need it, we can always take those things that we wanna donate somewhere else to get them to people who need them. Does anyone know the names of the places where we can take things to be donated? Well, there's lots of secondhand stores around town. There's places like St. Vincent de Paul, Goodwill, the Salvation Army, or you can even put it up for free on Facebook. So the next time you have something that you can't recycle, be sure to ask yourself, is this something that can be reused or can I donate it to a new home? If we cannot recycle or donate our waste, there's one last option before we have to throw it in the trash. Now, you're not going to recycle a banana peel and donating it to a neighbor probably wouldn't be very nice, but there is a way that we can reuse it. Things like food scraps can be reused or recycled by nature through something called composting. Compost is like mother nature's way of recycling. It's where we got the idea to recycle cans and glass in the first place. But instead of going to the recycling facility, we just put those old foods or parts of foods that we can't eat out into nature. After a while, it decomposes, breaking down to become new healthy soil that other future foods can grow in. But just like recycling, only certain things can go into the compost. We can compost leftover foods like fruits, veggies, bread, and eggshells. Then, with the help of some worms and leaves, over time, it becomes soil. Some people compost by just throwing their scraps into the corner of their yard and letting Mother Nature do her work. Other people find more creative ways to compost, like using worm bins that they can keep in their homes. So cool. Instead of all our leftover food going to the garbage and sitting in the landfill, we can turn it back into soil for plants and bugs to enjoy. Now, let's talk about the things we can put into the compost. I always ask myself, is it a plant, is it a vegetable, or is it a fruit? And if so, it can go. So I had some grapes in the fridge, but before I could finish them, they got all moldy and gross. Now, I could put them in the trash, but I'm gonna ask myself, is this a plant? Is it a veggie? 
Is it a fruit? Yes. yes! Yes, it is a fruit. So I can put it into my compost. In the summer, I love to eat corn on the cob. But what could I do with all the corn husks and the cobs? Well, I'm gonna ask myself, is corn a veggie, a plant, or a fruit? Yes! Yes, it is a vegetable. So I'm gonna take those old corn husks and cobs and I'm gonna put them in the compost. I have some broccoli here that I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. But when I make broccoli, I cut off all the stems. Now, what could I do with those broccoli stems? Well, I'm gonna ask myself, is it a vegetable? Is it a plant? Is it a fruit? Yes! Yes, it's a vegetable. So we can put those broccoli stems right into the compost. Worms and insects help to break down the old food scraps. So we only want to put things in the compost that they like to eat. This is our worm bin. And we feed our worms food scraps about once a week. Do you think worms can eat things like shoes or plastic cups? No! No! They cannot eat meat or cheese either. Now remember, when we compost our old fruits, vegetables, and plants, Mother Nature recycles them and makes new soil for new things to grow. So, if we cannot recycle something, it isn't something that can be used again, or that anyone wants, and we cannot compost it, well then, we just have to throw it away to go to the landfill. Now, those sorts of things include things like candy wrappers, maybe old sandwich Ziplocs, things like aluminum foil, or sometimes those bubble wrap mail carriers. All of those things belong in the trash. But we should always try to recycle, reuse, donate, or compost first before we throw something away. Now, let's do a quick review. What types of things can be recycled? We have paper, plastic bottles, cans, cartons, and glass jars. Now, what types of things can be reused or donated? Well, remember, the things that we can reuse are things like plastic bags, leftover to-go containers, and glass jars. And the things we can donate are things like old clothes, shoes, books, and toys, kitchen supplies, and school supplies. Now, what types of things can we put in the compost? Remember, it's plants, vegetables, and fruits. So now we are going to put your knowledge to the test. Our friends are going to be given an item and I want you to help them decide if it should be recycled, donated, composted, or thrown in the landfill trash can. Now remember, this is a cooperative game and we all win when we put as little as we can into the trash can. This is Kara with KCB News One with special coverage of the 2021 Olympics. My name is Kara Lugan and I'm here with my co-host Jonathan Addy. We're going straight to live coverage of the U.S. team in the newest sport, Waste Diversion. Hi Kara and welcome viewers. Our U.S. team is represented by Aunt Lori, Jasper, age 8, and Sori, age 5. Let's check in and see how they are doing as the game has already started. All right, and they're setting off with clean paper. Jasper's deciding, and he's got it in the recycling. Excellent choice. All right. Ooh, Aunt Lori trying to put styrofoam into the recycling. That's a no. Landfill, Jasper, good point. Now we go with the carton. That goes correctly into the recycling. And next, we have a plastic cup. Nope, that one into recycling incorrectly. Let's correct that. And into the landfill where it belongs. Next item up is the to-go container, and Jasper knows it goes into the landfill. Now Aunt Lori has the milk jug. She's trying to donate that plastic milk jug, but Jasper knows it goes right into the recycling. Excellent assist. Next up, we have a reusable water bottle. 
Where are we going to put that? Yes, that is donated correctly. Great job. And now we have a moldy carrot. Considering all the options, one, two, three, and bin number four, which is composting. Great job. All right, the next item they have to sort is a glass jar. And Lori thinks it goes in the landfill, but Zoe is thinking there's a better option. Here we have Jasper with the assist, and into the recycling it goes. Next up, a berry clamshell. Jasper gets it into the landfill. Excellent job. Now we have a paper mailer, considering all of our options there. And into recycling it goes. And how about this cardboard box? Jasper has that. Puts it in the landfill. No, that's incorrect. Let's pull that one out and get in the right place. Sorry with the assist to bring it out and puts it back into recycling. Outstanding work. All right, here we are on one of the last items to sort. It is a pop can. They're all debating this. Ooh, into the recycling. They all know. Now we're moving into the lightning round. I don't know how the other teams are faring. This is a real nail biter. Can't wait to see if Team USA takes home the goal. Man, look at these catalyte reflexes. Oh, interception on a bad sort. Great job. But it looks like they'll be on the metal stand. Great show, Great show Team, Team USA. USA. Boys and girls, we learned a lot and we did some really great sorting. Now you have the knowledge to start recycling, donating, reusing, and composting at home. Thanks friends, and can't wait to see you again soon. These videos were made possible through the generosity of our donors. Special shout outs to Charles H. Dater Foundation, the City of Cincinnati, the Ohio's Arts Council, the General Electric Community Service Fund, the Kroger Foundation, Duke Energy. To learn more about Keep Cincinnati Beautiful and all of our programming across the city, visit our website, www.keepcincinnatibeautiful.org. Learn how you can get involved, volunteer, and make this city beautiful by signing up for our newsletter or following us on social media. As a nonprofit, we thrive through the support of our sponsors and individual donors like you. If you would like to contribute to Keep Cincinnati Beautiful, click the donate link in the video description box below.